So I go back and forth about how I want my YouTube channel to be. In general, I don't want to have to censor myself. I'd like to be able to make random videos about random shit as much as I please. But I'm also interested in making videos that people want to watch. For example, for a long time, I bleeped out the swear words in my videos because I didn't want to alienate people that maybe didn't want to hear that kind of language. Well, mainly I kind of did it because I thought it was funny, but that's not the right approach. This is me you're watching. This is Kevin. Kevin swears. That's just a thing that I do. And if you don't like swears, I guess you could go fucking watch another video or something. The problem with that whole mentality, though, is it's really hard to determine what people want to watch. Sometimes completely random videos that I make get a whole bunch of views, and I have no idea why that happens. Now, originally, I tackled this dilemma by pretty much playing it safe and making, you know, really general feel-good videos that pretty much anyone could feel and, you know, get into. And that's not to say that I didn't put a lot of effort into the videos, because I did, but I just thought that was a good way to begin building an audience. But I had to sort of rethink that because I don't want to start doing one thing and then all of a sudden just turn the table because I know a lot of YouTubers do that and I don't really like it and I don't think people like that. So for a while I started tackling more controversial subject matter, stuff that people might not like hearing and I still actually got a lot of good feedback on it. But even beyond that, there's still something else and when I think about my favorite vloggers, like the people that I like watching a lot, these are people who have let us into their minds and into their lives. Like we basically know them. Like for example, because of YouTube, solely because of YouTube, I know that John Green is a novelist who lives with his wife and one son and one dog. He's 34 years old and he went to a boarding school in Alabama called Indian Springs School. Because of YouTube, I know that Alex Day is an atheist and he lives with Charlie McDonnell and he collects playing cards and he has a ring that he wears on his right index finger that his mother gave. Actually, I'm not sure how many Naramon fans actually know that last bit. Whatever, my point is I don't feel like I'm letting people into my mind like that, you know? I don't, I'm not saying you have to film yourself taking a shit Although I have seen people do that and I'm just, don't, don't do that, please. So what I want to do, at least to get this ball rolling, is I want you guys to ask me more questions. Except this time, I want them to be personal questions. Like real juicy. And I mean, don't ask me anything completely stupid, which some of you probably will. And I guess whatever you can, but I may not answer it. See, something that a lot of people don't know about me is that I have no secrets. There's pretty much no question that you could ask me about me that I will refuse to answer pretty open person so here's your chance ask me the most personal embarrassing questions that you can think of and if you have more than one question ask all of them also if you have a question to ask that's not particularly personal ask that too because i might use it in the q a with t1j section which by the way begins now i don't think there's a soulmate for everyone in fact i think it's pretty unlikely that a person will meet another person out of like the billions of people on this planet that a has even half of the qualities that you think are necessary and b likes you back i think it's kind of a counterproductive way to think about things you know like imagine if you had a boss and he was like okay i want you to do your work i want you to try hard and do your best i want you to be a good employee but no matter what you do in the end, all employees here get a raise and a promotion. I feel like you would have no motivation to improve yourself. Like I think people spend so much time trying to find the right person that they don't take the time to consider that maybe there are things about you that you need to improve. And that may seem kind of pessimistic, but I don't really see it that way. Once you realize how little you matter in the grand scheme of things, and once you start seeing things from other people's points of view, then you realize that there's lots of perfectly great people all over the place. As always, if you have a question, I might use it in a video, and if your question is in the form of a video response, I will almost certainly use it, unless it's dumb.